Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, in this video today, we are going to be talking about important things in your home that your guests will notice. These are the things that your guests, when they come to your home, they are going to see, they are going to pick up on, they are going to kind of judge you. I mean, I would judge you. I mean, I wouldn't do it to your face because that's just rude. I would instead go home and share it with 200,000 people on the internet because I'm a gentleman. But even if you don't have me over and you have just other friends and family over to your home, they will notice these details. They're not gonna say anything, but they will notice them over and over again. Because let's be honest, there are some things in your home you can absolutely save money on. If you wanna have a planter pot and save a bit of money, go for it. A shelving unit, go for it. That's something that you can save money, no big deal. But these things here, these are important details you don't want to miss. You wanna make sure that they're big impact, that they're quality pieces, because these are the items over and over again your guests will pick up on, they will notice, and they'll probably judge you for it. I mean, I would. Okay, so item number one that your guests will notice is doorknobs, your door hardware, okay? They will pick up on this detail. I'll tell you what, I went out for dinner last night and this is where this list kind of was inspired because the doorknobs were like really high quality. They were like a beautiful brush brass. It was like a whole like, you know, beautiful restaurant. The bathrooms are just a little whatever, but I really noticed the knobs and the door hardware were amazing. And sometimes when I go to people's homes, if they are tarnished, if they are old, if they need an update, if they are peeling because there may be a painted finish, I'm gonna notice those details. If they're really light, if they sort of feel flimsy, people will pick up on that. You're looking for really quality hardware that feels heavy to the touch and is just beautiful. Maybe it matches your other pieces of decor. Maybe if you have a lot of brass elements, you will use brushed brass or brushed gold. Maybe if you've got a lot of black, you'll use matte black on your doorknobs. It seems like a really small detail, but just remember, every single guest that comes into your home is going to use your doorknobs. They're gonna to touch the knobs, they're gonna to touch the levers, they are going to notice whether they're cheap and flimsy or where they are quality. So I would recommend investing in your doorknobs. It's a small detail, but every single one of your guests, every person that comes into your home will notice your doorknobs. They might not necessarily think too much about them, but they subconsciously will notice them. Okay, second item on my list that you should maybe consider upgrading and really investing in quality is serving ware. So this includes all your flatware, so knives and forks, but also your plates, water glasses, maybe wine glasses as well. These are the items that your guests will notice because they are going to be interacting with them. They are going to feel them. If the glasses are really heavy, they will notice that. If they feel cheap, if they are etched, if you've got chipped edges on the water glasses, I'm kind of guilty of that one, I'm not gonna lie. If your cutlery is all mismatched, they are going to notice it. If I go to somebody's house and their table is maybe from Facebook Marketplace, it's maybe not, you know, it's not the most expensive design or fancy table in the entire world. It's just a regular table, that's totally fine. But if they have really beautiful flatware, that is something that I'm going to interact with directly and that is so much better than going for something that is mismatched or whatever. Now on the flip side, if I go to somebody's house and they have a beautiful marble gorgeous table, but they serve me maybe plastic knives and forks with paper plates, I'm going to remember that. So really investing in the flatware and those items that they are going to touch and interact with during a meal, very, very important. More important, honestly, than the furniture pieces around it. Third on my list is the front hall organizer. This is that cupboard that everybody has at the front of their house. It could be a mud room, it could be a closet, whatever. It could be just a space to sort of put a little rack to put your shoes or whatever. Those items I think are really worth investing in. Now you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. I've done a review on the Boaxel system from Ikea. It's a great system. There's lots of them out there. Now, those systems are really great and I'm not asking for anything fancy here, but just something that's a little bit more special and looks like you've kind of thought through some organization, especially in the front hall. I mean, if you've got your walk-in closet's a complete disaster, that's fine, that's up to you, but your guests are really gonna pick up on the front hall closet. If it's overloaded with coats. If you open that door and a bunch of coats fall out, or you've maybe got like it's dusty and gross and hasn't been vacuumed a hundred years, I'm going to see that detail because every guest is gonna go in and put away their jacket or they are going to put away their shoes. And assuming you live in a culture where people put away their shoes, that's a little bit different, I think, depending on your country, but assuming that they're gonna put away jackets or shoes or something, they are going to use your front hall closet. It's just a really important detail that is so often missed where people have these really dated or maybe really dusty or gross or overcrowded hall closets. And honestly, it just really doesn't make for a clean and elegant experience as a guest. And tied into that is item number four, which is hangers. So if I'm gonna be hanging my jacket in your closet, which is usually what I will do unless somebody takes my jacket, if you're that fancy, usually I'll be putting away my own jacket. And if you've got flimsy plastic hangers or metal hangers, I recommend that you swap them out. I recommend 
Wood hangers. Wood hangers are really affordable. I really love the ones from Ikea. They're called the Boomerang, I think. Beautiful hangers, really great, but there's lots that are out there. But just invest on having a nice set. Don't have some like mismatched hodgepodge. Really invest in taking the time with considering the guest experience. If someone's gonna be coming in and taking off their jacket and they're gonna be hanging it up, consider having these beautiful hangers that they can use. And it's a nice, elegant, fun experience. So that's tied into the closet organizer, but just some really high quality hangers go a long way to just show your guests that you care about these little details. Details. Item number five on items that your guests will notice and pick up on is bathroom accessories. The truth is, is that everybody is going to go into probably your bathroom at some point when they are in your home, right? But anyway, the point is people will use maybe your toilet paper. They will definitely be, hopefully be using your faucet. I mean, hopefully be using your faucet. I would recommend going in and getting a really beautiful faucet and accessories. Ideally ones that match, unless you've got a mixed metals thing going on, which is totally fine, but just really be intentional and really sort of look at the accessories. I'm talking the towel rack, the towel bar, the paper holder. I'm talking the faucet. I'm talking hooks. I'm talking the whole thing should be somewhat thought through and coordinated ideally because if it feels heavy, if it feels weighty, if it feels like it's really nice to use, that is something your guest guaranteed is going to interact with, especially in those powder rooms or guest bathrooms that you just know that they are going to use. By the way, shameless plug, I own a company called Ollie Nickel where we actually do beautiful bathroom fixtures and accessories. Go check it out. Link in the description. Item number six on items that your guests will notice that you might want to pay more attention to, and that is, and speaking of the bathroom, is that hand towel. The hand towel where people are going to be drying their hands. If that is wet and old and dirty, I'm judging you. You know what, if you've got bath towels in your you know, primary bathroom that you're using and like you're not washing regularly, that's on you. Like that's fine. It's not, but you know what? You do you. But if I'm a guest in your home and I dry my hands and they are just wet and gross, just consider swapping that out. I would say just consider the last thing is just to give a little wipe down of the toilet, swap out that hand towel and give a little wipe down of that sink. It's just a small little detail that your guests will pick up on. It's a hygiene thing. I mean, you just got to do it. It's just when guests are coming over, consider those three things in your bathroom every time. So definitely that guest hand towel. If that thing is wet and gross, what else is gross? You know what I mean? Next item on my list, small important details your guests will notice is coasters. They are a small thing and they are really important. First of all, it sort of shows people that you care about your space and that you really care about your furniture. If you've invested in some really great furniture, I don't see a problem with putting some really beautiful coasters. Plus, it's a nice little fun metal accessory that you get to put on into your space, onto your coffee table. Invest in really beautiful ones because again, that is going to be something your guests guaranteed are going to interact with. So if I go in and you want to talk about a thing that makes you look really cheap, if you've got like old CDs or old DVDs as coasters. Yeah, I'm judging you. I mean, if that's got to go, obviously, but that's such a really like affordable thing to do. You don't even have to get that fancy. You can have nice wooden ones. You can have marble. You can have metal. You can have whatever coasters you want. It just really shows that the owner really cares about their space. They care about their furniture and they care about those little details on those little touches in their space. Okay, so next on my list is investing in really good soap. I think if you're going to have guests over, some people, you know, I get it. You might swap out the nice soap when people come over and then put away the you know three dollar soap for when your guests leave and that's totally fine but just really think of that detail again soap is something hopefully that your guests will be using every single time they come into your home so really caring about the soap to make sure that it's really beautiful and that it's luxurious and that it really smells nice it's a small detail that makes a really big difference so i actually recommend something ideally like a pump soap or whatever i guess you can use a bar i'm just personally not a big fan but i would recommend something that has really nice essential oil, something that smells nice, something that really smells natural, maybe sandalwood, lemon, I mean, whatever you want, make it your own. I love citrus, but you can do whatever you like. I recommend going for something the more natural, the better. So again, I would avoid sort of the Bath and Body Works or soft soap kind of strawberry cheesecake blast or whatever they've got going on, like some sort of, you know, like really synthetic sort of fake. If you go for a simple kitchen lemon, I'm okay with that. If you go for something that's really kooky and crazy, um, I don't know. I mean, look, like I'm guilty of this too. Like sometimes I enjoy like a cinnamon dolce latte hand soap, but I'm moving away from that personally. And I think you probably should too. Like I think we're kind of done with the really fake synthetic soaps. And I think we're moving towards something a little bit more natural. I'm trying to do that more in my life. But I would say in the end, it doesn't really matter what the scent is, just so long as it's really intentional and you've really thought it through. It's a small detail that really matters for your guests because they're going to be using it. And it's just a nice little luxury thing they kind of get in your own little bathroom, which I think is always nice. 
And the last thing to consider is your scent in your home. This is a very small thing that I have never talked about on this channel, but it's actually a really big thing. People tend to ignore scent. They tend to ignore uh, what your home really smells like. Personally, I would go for, again, a diffuser with some essential oils. I'm really a big fan of Sage, which is based right here in Vancouver. Maybe you have a Sage near you. Maybe they ship to you. That's great. I really love their scents. They're really gorgeous and they're natural and you can get a beautiful diffuser that just lightly perfumes your home and makes it really smell nice. I would stay away again from the candles that are really synthetic and obviously fake. I would recommend something like a diffuser from Sage, but there's lots of beautiful candles and diffusers that are more kind of natural essential oils and things, which would probably be very nice. But it's a small little detail, but it really makes a big difference. When people are in your home, if it smells nice, it just sort of gives it a signature scent and just kind of makes it feel like you've thought through all those details. So that's it for me for today, guys. I think if you like this video, you might also like my spring cleaning video where I talked about items that maybe need to go. There's a few items in this list that probably maybe you might want to refresh and uh, there's some other items there that you might want to think about as well. So I'll see you all in that video. Thanks a lot. Bye.